Hey there students, my name is Sam and I'm a teacher at Ballarat. Today we want to talk to you a little bit about gold mining and all the work that goes into it. But first, why gold mining? Why is gold mining important for students to learn about? If you said gold mining was important to the history of Colorado, you were right. Denver actually began as a small town that supplied miners with tools and materials for mining before they went off to find gold in the mountains. That's why the dome on our Capitol building is covered in real gold. Gold was first discovered in 1858 by a small group of prospectors from Georgia. Drawn west by dreams of shiny gold nuggets, these prospectors eventually did find gold in the South Platte River in what is now known as Confluence Park in downtown Denver. By 1859, word of their discovery had quickly traveled back east and the Colorado Gold Rush was on. These 59ers came to Colorado by traveling west on the Overland Route or by following the Arkansas River. Guided west by the prominent Pikes Peak, these prospectors adopted the slogan Pikes Peak or Bust. Over the next 20 years, gold was found throughout the Colorado mountains and Denver grew rapidly. By 1861, Colorado was recognized as separate from the territory of Kansas and by 1876, the state of Colorado was officially born. Fast forward almost 150 years, and now Denver is one of the largest cities west of the Mississippi, and the place that all of us call home. Now, let's talk about the process of mining. How was all that gold pulled out of the ground? Pause the video here and discuss how you think mining works with your classmate. Well, first you have to decide where to build your mine. To do this, miners would use a process called panning. Let's have Becky show us how it's done. First, scoop some dirt from the bottom of the stream into your pan. Make sure you get a couple good scoops. Then, use the water from the stream into your pan and shake it around so that the material starts to separate from itself. Because gold is significantly heavier than dirt and sand, this should cause the gold to sink to the bottom of the pan. Once you've shook it around a little bit, pour off some of the water in excess dirt and put a little more fresh water into your pan. Hopefully this washes away all the dirt and sand and leaves you with nice, solid, heavy gold nuggets at the bottom of your pan. To speed this process up, miners might use something called a rocker box. To use the rocker box, scoop dirt and water from the bottom of the stream into the top of the box and rock it back and forth just like you see Erica doing right here. This should cause all the waste rock and water to sink to the bottom of the box leaving the precious gold up in the top of the box, filtered out by this nice little sieve. Hopefully there's some gold in there. If you find gold in your stream, follow the stream to its source up in the mountains and start digging. This is hard work, there better be some gold in here. Miners might also drill holes into the rock that would then get filled with dynamite to help them explode the mountainside even faster. Here you can see me demonstrating the single jack method. I have a hammer in my left hand and a jack or a drill in my right hand. Hi, this is Sam and Becky at Ballarat and we are doing what's called double jacking. Um, we are working together. We have a jackhammer, that's what I've got here. Sam is holding a drill. And we partnered up because that is something the miners would do and it helped this job go much quicker. Two men working together could get the job done way quicker than just one man working alone. Um, when, you are, when you were assigned to double jack with a partner, you really had to trust your partner because if I'm swinging a hammer, I don't want to hurt my teammate. And if I did swing, and if I missed that drill, and if I hit Sam, well, him and I are gonna trade places. So now I'm the one holding the drill and he's the one swinging the hammer. If he hits me by mistake and I get hurt, we're going to switch off again. So this was definitely a partnership where the men would develop a, a um, sense of trust with each other and get the job done. When the men were doing double jacking, the job would probably go two to three times faster than one miner working alone. Well, look at all the holes we just drilled. But before we explode anything, let's have Erica make sure everyone is out of the mine. Are we good, Erica? Fire in the hole! Three, two, one! 
Now let's head into the mine and see if we can find any gold. Miners that found gold would take their findings to an assayer, who would purify the gold by melting it down and separating it from the waste rock. Finally, the assayer would weigh your gold to let you know how much money you made. Hopefully you made some cash.